everyone. I am so excited to be talking to my really longtime friend, Kate Bosworth. Kate's a wonderful, incredible actress. She also has started this really incredible platform called Kindness, lifestyle platform. She highlights people who are doing good things. I highly encourage you to check it out. It's almost Valentine's Day. We get to do a stay-at-home date night makeup. I'm so excited to talk to you. I know, I'm so excited to dive in with you. I was thinking, Gucci, the first time we met, I think it was for GQ. You had just met your now yeah. hubby. And You'd gone on one date. Oh my God. So now we've known each other maybe going on 17 years. That's incredible. Where are you now? Michael and I live between LA and Montana. It's so magical and I know you ride. I do. I'm most jealous of your Instagram for your horse <laughs> and stable situation. How old were you when you did Horse Whisperer? Yeah. I was 14 when I did that movie. So, I mean, I was cast in that movie because I was a horse rider. That was me. I was like the weird horse girl at 11 and 12. <laughs> I think that's with you forever. Will you please tell me how did this kind of come about? It started out conceptually almost two years ago now. My grandmother, she ended up passing and I had to, you know, sort of pretty quickly after she passed, sort of open my emails and engage with business. And it was just such an outer body experience to have to engage with the world and yet feel totally disconnected from myself. Oh, and yeah. I thought, well, what if I started a little corner of the internet where it was it was about connecting? It really is a place where it's cool to be kind. I write a lot of handwritten letters, uh, thank you letters. I sign all my letters kindest Kate. As I was sort of, you know, thinking about this space, I thought if I think about each article as a sort of a sign off, then it's sort of like kindest Kate. Every time I post an article, where I'm like, Ooh, I'm a little bit scared to do this and I'm really tapping into vulnerability. It's, it seems to be something that I get an overwhelming response from people. You initiated a Blue Crush reunion, didn't you? Oh my gosh, yes. On Kindest, because we hadn't seen each other in such a long time. And again, we it was like real friends. What's up? Yes! Yes! <laughs> like, too bad we don't still have like the bathing suits and bikinis because we're going to walk out. <laughs> It was super special. Now I've built out the tab that has beauty, like people like you who are creating products in, in a line where there's so many kind elements to it. For our brand, we go so far and we try so hard to make the most beautiful, safest products we possibly can. And yours is the highest quality. I very rarely veer away from clean when it comes to skincare because I can, f I can feel a difference in my skin. When I was in my early 20s, the sun had a reaction with my skin where it, was, it triggered melasma. I started learning a lot about skincare and I love Epicurin. It's super clean. It's neutral enough for everybody to at least begin somewhere if your skin's been freaking out. One of my secret weapons in Los Angeles, do you know Dr. Nigma? Dr. Nigma Talib. Yeah, okay, so she sent me some of her supplements. When I'm on her supplements regularly, like my energy, everything feels just like wow. so dialed in. I love her facials. I think they're brilliant. She does IPL, I'm a, I love IPL. There's another esthetician named Faith Tatro who I love in LA. Both of those ladies are exceptional. Before we start doing makeup, I wanted to ask you if you're doing any movies at the moment with Michael. So the thing that we did recently, it was a project that Michael had been thinking about for a while. It's a, TV show called Bring on the Dancing Horses. I produced it with him. I work with my husband. How is it to work with Michael? I love it. You know, you have to really clearly define- Your roles. Your roles and your boundaries. David and I, I think it's the same. And you're able to be vulnerable. You know, I, I, I really have been trying to lean into that word and that concept more because, you know, Admittedly, it's something that I've been like really uncomfortable doing my whole life. What do you think about doing a little Valentine's Day makeup for, you know, at home if you're having Valentine's Day with a friend, over Zoom with a boyfriend, a girlfriend, uh, in your case, a husband? I love this idea. Oh my gosh, actually, I love this whole palette. It's called Lip Suede and the, the actual right. palette name is Le Rouge. I think something really sexy is sort of like a bled out edged lip not like intimidating for if you want to have a little smoochy smoochy yeah totally <laughs> you have some foundation on now you have vital skin I have vital skin atelier one and atelier zero what i love about it is i was talking earlier about having melasma and while i've had been able to get a lot of it under control being in california you're driving around you're gonna get yeah. it on your rim i don't need any more coverage than these so it's like it really is a buildable foundation stick and gucci do you like using this little brush 
for under the eye? Because I know as you call it the spot brush, right? Yes. So that one is so incredible for any, you know, little delicate areas. Out in the corners, I like to lift that up a little bit and then I might have, you know, little spots because I have rosacea. I feel like women always have their little spots. I usually do one pass and then sort of let it settle. And then I kind of go through with a little brush or I really like this baby blender. Baby blender, yeah. And I have to say, because if no one's tried these brushes, how do you get these so velvety soft? They're made sustainably by the oldest brush maker in the world in Japan. Well, when I first touched them, I was like, <laughs> this is another level. Do you like to use highlighter before the foundation stick or, or, or both or after? It depends on what you're doing and the quality of your skin. If you want it to be less cosmetic, it looks more sort of like it's just coming from within. You put that under and I would do that with these two new additions to our original Lit Up. Lit or Nectar. Yes, I love Nectar. It's just like the perfect like sun kissy kind of glow without being too highlightery. It has a little bit of warmth and it's so easy. And do it's you like it sort of on the tops of the cheekbones? Like is that sort of yeah. like- If you ever like a little bit of luminosity under your eyelids, you can always pat it under your eyelids and go all the way up. You know, just kind of follow your cheekbones up to your temples. It's your cupid's yep. bow. You can even pop some on your chin, tear duct area. On the bridge of the nose as well. I love it on the bridge of the nose. I'm gonna use nectar. If nectar has the warmth, is lit up is the more, um, oh wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, so it's that's the cooler lit sort of opalescent finish. You know, so you have both options. You have a warmer kind of more peach undertone or you have this really beautiful cool. Sometimes I like to put nectar on my lips also. Then we also have brulee. I love this shade so I'm much. I'm obsessed with this. It's super beautiful on the eyes, on the lips, yes. on the cheeks, but this is, um, a slightly different application. You want to go over your cheeks, on top of my cheek, as opposed to at the top. You want to put it all over your cheekbone. It gives you more of a shape. With something like this, it's just a far more accessible way of just kind of defining your bone structure. Anytime when you when you see someone with radiant skin, I think, wow, they look really healthy. Totally. Feels so good, like, going on the skin. Well, like, so I feel pretty. like I'm putting on skincare. Like, in the best way. When do you suggest using like a warmer sort of toned highlight compared to a cooler? It depends a little bit on your skin tone and what you intend on doing with the rest of your makeup. Brulee, for example, is an amazing shade for, for mm -hmm. creating this idea of having your skin feel sun-kissed even though you don't go in the sun. I am one of those people that like needs to put a lip on to understand like what to do with the rest of my face. Yes, I love that. I wanted you to try Bichette. That's the cheek color. Pop a little bit on your lip. This is Bichette. But then on top of that, I want you to try the tomato red if you like. I was gonna go straight for the like orange red, but I like the yeah. idea of dimension. I'm putting a bit of brulee on my eyes. Is that okay? Is that like? Yes, please. <laughs> I always wanted the products all to work really synergistically. And so if you want to apply your powder first, that's fine. And then you apply your highlight later and it's not going to disrupt one another. You really can't go wrong. Would you want to put on the, the tomato shade? Yeah, I do. I mean, your skin looks like glass. What's so nice is it's literally only like three products. In three minutes. That's my favorite thing. I'm like, give me three products in three minutes and I'm like a happy girl, you know? It looks like an art palette. It's beautiful. Yeah, well, I, I think as a makeup artist, I always have worked with, uh, you know, like these palettes where I dram all of my bullets, my lipstick bullets into these Japanesque palettes. So I see uh -huh. all these colors next to each other. And then I always like to kind of customize my own shade by seeing other shades and being inspired by them. I wanted to show you some, a new launch super wearable lip treatment. You know, it's a liquid lip balm. So and pretty. You are the first person that receives it, wow. that's using it. Ah, I'm so seen. honored. I think it feels nice. I am obsessed with this. The ease of what you created is really the, the magic. And then I always take my little brush. Oh, I like that you use the baby blender like that. That's so cute. <laughs> is that wrong? <laughs> it's my favorite brush. It really is, the baby blender. Shall we with this? Gosh, this mascara is quite um, the little gem. I kind of wanted everyone to see like 
what no mascara looks like and what. I know. Wow, that's so crazy. The Like the volume and the length. So chic and gorgeous. Look how pretty. I really love using your products. It's it's like my my favorite go-to. What I was thinking of with Kindest is like, what are the brands and the people who are giving back to the community and the planet? Like you probably could have found something like close quicker and just like, okay, fine, like let's just get this through. But like you had the vision of saying like, no, it has to be a certain quality. It has to be mindful and sustainable. I just feel like it's so important as consumers to invest in brands and people who are investing in us and you're obviously doing that. Oh, thank you so much. Our compacts will be refillable sometime in 2021. We always have to evolve and be better and, and you know, to, to sort of have your eye on that horizon is really commendable. Thank you so much. Gosh. Yeah, thank you, Gucci. Now I'm ready to like, you know, have my date. I'm going to walk in and be like, oh my gosh, <laughs> she's not in sweats roaming the house. <laughs> oh, okay. Lots of love. Lots of love.